Hey, what's up, guys? Jake, we're getting back some fruit of Grisaya. We're outside of the police station, and we're doing something. I don't fucking know. Let's go! After a murder shot at the door by the old man, the young detective appears from the rear. Ooh, carrying the backpack they'd taken from me earlier. Oh, he found my brick collection. Good thing he didn't look inside. Why would they take my bag if they weren't going to look inside? Well, that's a bit of a tough question. I guess you could say, my life. Yeah, I know, my life is very heavy. <laughs> that wasn't really what I was going for. That wasn't a grunt, that was nothing. What the fuck was that? Dropping the backpack next to me. The detective lets out a, si a slight sigh. Was it a grunt, a sigh, or whatever the fuck that was? Well, thanks for lugging it out here. Pretty heavy, isn't it? You learned judo for work? Why does that have anything to do with how heavy my backpack is? I really don't understand you, detective. Uh, true. I guess that's natural for a policeman. Sorry? Why am I sorry? Is the backpack heavy or not? The detective smiles wryly. Yeah, I study landfills. It's very exciting. I'm wearing the school uniform. You can see that at a glance, you stupid fucking idiot. He claps me on my shoulder as we pass each other. I thought we were having a conversation. Why is he passing me all of a sudden? Were we racing? Why are you being weird? With those parting words, he heads back into the police station. Well, that was the weirdest fucking conversation I've ever had. Well, I guess I don't make a convincing student yet. Yeah, you don't have to convince anyone you're a student. You can just be a student. Anyone can be a student. It's really easy. I'm wearing black slacks and a short sleeve dress shirt, as well as a blue tartan check necktie. Tartan check? I don't know what that means. I'm going to assume it's some kind of pattern. Excluding my somewhat longish hair, I should be the very image of a student. I guess it's a little difficult turning into something like that all of a sudden. Yeah, it's really hard to go from being not a student to a student. You have to enroll in a class, and that's literally the only step. That's all you have to do. But it's probably precisely because this is difficult that I decided to give it a try. For a while, I myself didn't understand why I'd asked for this, but now I think I have a faint grasp of the reason. I want to become something I couldn't understand. Something I wasn't. At the moment, I've done nothing but smooth down my edges a bit. Perhaps later on, I'll become a student on the inside as well. Is that a sex thing? I'm not comfortable with this anymore. The sun that had been climbing upward earlier has now finally reached its zenith. Why do we pan up like we were going to look at the sun? It's not here. This is still just the sky. The temperature keeps on rising and sweat oozes from my skin. That is the most disgusting way to describe sweating ever. I was pretty sure she'd pick me up, but... Hmm? Ooh, do we have a lady friend? Sensing a presence, I lower my gaze from the sun, or rather, the patch of sky that clearly didn't have the sun. My eyes, well accustomed to high contrast lighting, project a human form and silhouette for only the briefest moments before the details fade in. What's Hello, lady! Y oh, you're welcome! Anything for you! Owen raising an awkward salute, grinning broadly, stands before my eyes. Spare me! You don't want to see a pose like that outside the workplace! What? In the first place, what's with that dopey salute? The girls in bikinis on the Martime SDF recruitment posters have more impressive form. Are we nagging her? We don't even know her. Be nice, Yuji. I know. It's almost like the main character is being a real asshole for no reason. Oh, I don't recall contributing enough to society today to deserve any appreciation. I don't know, you did like judo on a bad guy, didn't you? Yeah, I know. Why are we being mean to her? She was being nice. She opens the f door of the car stop next to her. Great. Our objective is to get in this car, so let's get cracking, dude. Yeah, uh, true enough. And then we get in the car. Mission accomplished. Oh, wow, these effects are incredible. From Machina Cape Police Station and National Highway 133 southbound, we proceed to the Prefectural Highway and advance further outward toward the Cape. Love that we're getting directions. A range of slowly rotating wind turbines come into view, indicating our proximity to the sea. No, they're not. These are street lights. I mean, I, tr I was close, I think. I was go oh, right, I was going to meet someone, and then I, like, beat up a thug or something. I did judo. I did kung fu. Yeah, why didn't we just call her? Wouldn't that have been nice? I, I doubt you really thought I was sick. Oh, good call, Yuji. It's almost like you're trying to have a polite conversation. The f who cares? This conversation sucks. You were trying the police stations first, not the hospitals. How do you know she tried those first? She could have been trying the hospitals. You were in the police station for like half a day, right? 
Okay. Yeah, I know. I don't know why he's being mean. Also, it'd be really cool if we had a name for her so she didn't just have to go by woman. Accuracy in weather forecasts and interpersonal communications make society run smoother. Wow, God, I hate this main character. He's the worst. I know, right? That's what I'm saying. Pounding again, she continues her harangue. Uh, it's called exercise, woman. Yeah, why do we have such a big backpack? Do we actually have bricks in there? Nobody's ever told us what's in the damn thing. Uh, sorry, I hate trains. Train races. She has a point. Uber, it's the 21st century. Uh, could you not mention this to the other students? I don't want them getting funny ideas about me from the get-go. Oh, believe me. Once they meet you, they'll have plenty of funny ideas. You're an asshole. Yeah, okay, thanks. That's nice. I get enough of that from the police to last me a while. Obvi I was at the police station. What do you think? We were just hanging out, having coffee? Of course they questioned me. They were like, how'd you learn Kung Fu so good? And I'm like, I'm just really good. What is this angle? Why does our hand look so angry? The car proceeded about 500 meters along an area of reclaimed coastal land before, it brought, before she brought it to a stop. Uh, so that's what he meant by landfill. I see. As I'm recalling the words of the detective from before, the woman continues our conversation with a suddenly cheerful tone. This is the sky and not the school. Why are we looking at this right now? Great, a new school that doesn't look like this because that's clouds. There it is. Oh, very nice. It barely even looks like a school. Why does it have such a big wall? That's really weird, especially since it's so much lower here. It's almost like we didn't need the wall to be this high. Although I'd heard it was a new school, its external appearance genuinely isn't what I expected because it's preposterous. A three-story building. A pure white color of the outer walls is only typical school-like element with every other aspect more closely resembling a city office building. The gates to the right and left are less evocative of a school gate than a functional fence at some facility. The mounted signboard, likewise, is a utilitarian thing, printed in a simple typeface rather than a hand-drawn work of calligraphy. Oh, believe me, there's an upswell of something, all right. I just don't know that it's emotion. I've only just arrived at this place. If I said I was deeply moved by the sight, it'd be a lie. What a rude boy. I know. I know. Try to dream a little. Re What's this guy's name? Yuji? Yinji? I don't care. With an exaggerated sigh, she opens her hands wide in the overblown gesture of a third-rate actor. They can't be that nice and normal since I got admitted. Hey, oh, fucking got him. Get roasted, kids I haven't met. Okay, girl A, we're already not starting on a good foot here. I know. I know. Okay, girl B's doing much better so far. Her rigmarole, excellent word, is abruptly interrupted by the high-pitched shrieks of two girls. Okay, I see what's going on here. Okay, yeah. Girl B. Team Girl B. Let's go, Girl B. Yeah, Girl A sucks. Get out of here, Girl A. Fucking get her, Girl B. Wow. The animation here is incredible. Uh, we'll probably help, right? Man, this scene's going on for a long time. <laughs> Okay, that was an excellent hack wheeze. I always like to see how they do those sound effects. She fucking nailed it. I like that even though her name gets dropped, she still goes by Girl B. What? That actually faded out at the end. That was pretty good. Good job, people who made this game. <laughs> I know, that was actually a little bit fun. Girl B's nice. Look at this, animation and everything. Normal? Could you define that term? Is there a class where we chase each other around brandishing insects? We're children, dude. Or their children. Someone's children. They're energetic. Or something. Yeah, I mean, I'm convinced. I don't think I do, but it's nice to see that it's a lively school. 
Oh, wow, I never thought you'd say that. Let's get moving. I mean, um, what? Anyways, having apparently forgotten what she was planning to do with her outspread hands, she totters through the school gate. Oh, wow. That's a weird transition. Please don't do that again. Her office is positioned quite near the school building's front entrance. Man, it's posh as fuck in here. The furniture is nicely arranged based on old-fashioned desk and chair. In contrast to the incongruity of the building's external appearance, this room is a textbook example of the old-fashioned principal's office. Do principal's offices always have couches? That feels like a weird touch. Don't tell me where the fucking sit, and don't you give me three mouth. Get out of here. I sit on the genuine leather sofa that's one of the room's more prominent furnishings. After waiting for me to settle myself, she lowers herself into the seat across from me. Great, she has a name, even though she's only going to go by principal. Okay, woman. Yes, yeah, good to meet you, I guess. Oh, we already know her. Dun, dun, dun. The plot thickens. On a practical level, nice to meet you might be the better option. Okay, I no longer understand what's happening. But sure, with a slight amused smile, Principal Takibana takes out a pamphlet. Oh, wow, classic. I'm sure the character already knows this, but let me give some exposition to the audience real quick. She flips past a couple pages of the brochure I hadn't noticed, but her fingernails are lightly polished. I don't care. Okay, so it's a school. Great. It's it's a school where the students are smart or something. Wow, that's a lot of words. It's owned by a railroad. That's amazing. The principal's talk shifts to more detailed matters. She's still fucking talking. Man, that was a long-ass sentence I interrupted. The East Beach Express is an enormous corporate group with its hands in real estate and large-scale retail, but its core business is the management of the rail line connecting Tokyo and Hanada Airport. The EBE's management is shouldered by the Shikai family, and it seems possible the Shikai Academy Corporation is also administered by them directly, but that's only a guess based on circumstantial evidence. There's a lack of public information on the secretive corporation's activities. The very existence of this academy isn't well known. I didn't gain anything that could be called definitive proof from my investigation so far. Why would you want a secret school? Like, who benefits from that? We enter as a second year. Excellent. We won't want to go through the awkward first year phase. Plus, this way we get, you know, older kids and younger kids. It's the best of both worlds, really. We get to decide our own course midday? That's fucking amazing. Her fingers come to a stop, bring her hands gently together. The principal raises her gaze from the pamphlet and meets my eyes. Wow, we clearly have a lot of pull here if we can just fucking request shit of the principal of the school we haven't started at yet. I have a few questions. First, today's a weekday, but there was barely anyone on the school grounds. What's going on? Are they all invisible? <laughs> it's a school of six students? I get it, writing multiple characters is really hard, but are you fucking kidding me? Only six? The, the elite few. That include our friends with the cicada just now. Okay, um, so question two, where am I living from today on? Let's back up, we built a whole school to teach six people. Couldn't we have just had one classroom? Couldn't we have rented a warehouse? Or just stood on a street corner? Six people's very small. Why do we have a dorm for six people? Just throw some bunk bed somewhere, in that warehouse that we rented. You know what I'm saying? A dormitory, is it? Of course it's considerably spacious. There's only six of us. In that case, not a problem. Yo, six? Before we finish, one last thing. Alright. For this last question only, I stare directly into her eyes, because this is the big one. I need to confirm the principal's intentions of bringing me here. After all said and done, is this a normal school with only six students funded by a secretive society that nobody knows exists? Your silence speaks volumes. The principal closes her mouth. No, she didn't. What? After a moment of silence, she opens it again. What? What? That is exactly the opposite of what happened. She opened her mouth and then she closed it. And I'm convinced, yeah, a gentle smile. I'm convinced she's not lying to further some hidden self-interest. Why do we go so far back? How old is our character? How old is this principal? I don't know, I have so many questions. 
The principal slowly stands up and walks to the window side. What the fuck? We have a huge school ground. The athletic grounds are visible from the window. Although resembling those of a normal school, the grounds are skirted with an improbably high wall. Who are we to make requests of this woman? What? The mere handful of students, the bizarrely extravagant facilities, the on-campus dormitory, the high wall surrounding it all. They clearly indicate abnormality. Man, nothing gets by this guy. Wow. Man, what are our personal circumstances other than that we're good at kung fu and have a backpack full of bricks? I don't know, and the game's not telling us. I guess you're right. Okay, here's the thing. You can say that all you want, but that doesn't make it true. It's clearly like a prison with a big fucking wall. The principal turns to face me. Was she not facing me before? Oh, she walked to the window. You're right. You're right. Good call, game. Okay, great. I just need to pretend to be a student. Do I still have to take tests and stuff? Because that sounds really shitty. Understood. Great. We're really banging all cylinders right now. Yeah! With a nod, I rise to my feet. On the grounds outside, there's a fucking tornado. What the hell's happening? A gust of salty sea air kicks up a cloud of sand. Why is it so sandy out there? I don't understand at all. Oh, let it- There's more rooms than students! What the fuck is happening? Oh my god! This place is fucking stacked, dude! That's fucking amazing! A bath- well, okay. Bath and toilet, fine. And a kitchen? That's pretty sweet. There's nobody here! And the cicada pair from earlier don't seem to be around! Yeah, why didn't you tell me that before when we were talking about them? Why'd you only bring it up now? Weren't, weren't they outside the school when we saw them? What? Hello? And that Komina guy is a, is a student here too? Okay, quick question. I think I know the answer to this. How many of the six students are girls? Because is it all of them except for me? I've played a game or two like this. It's probably all of them except me. So you don't have a minute grasp on the movements of the students, I see. Well, yeah, what? Obviously, why would she? Thank you. She's not, uh, she doesn't own them. Merely, is it? Why are you at such a weird angle? Okay. The principal walks towards the interior of the building. Cool. Left there by myself, I stare vacantly up at the ceiling. Soon, I've unconsciously fallen into my habit of counting the number of visible sprinklers, then roughly estimating the scale of the building. Jesus fucking Christ, that's the most boring thing that's ever happened. And on that thrilling note, I'm going to draw this episode to a close, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you liked that, don't forget to like, subscribe, be sure to next week for more Fruit of Grisaia with yours truly. I'll see you guys then.